Hello everybody, it is Boone, it's Chrissy. Welcome to episode 10 of my WoW Let's Play. So when I logged on, I went exploring around Thalsamar one more time just to make sure I wasn't missing anything, and there was in fact another quest for me. The quest giver was in the League of Explorers, and he told me to find Huldar, Miran, and Seon? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. We'll just call him Sean. Huldar is here, Miran is here, but where is Sean? Resupplying the excavation. Hmm. It'll take more than a dark iron ambush to stop the deliveries. But Sean, I would never have suspected him to be one of their sympathizers. We've been working with him for almost a year now. Maybe I missed the signs. Hmm, so Sean has betrayed the trio. Protecting the shipment. We need to get this powder to Iron Band, but this cart isn't going anywhere now. It'll be a lot for us to carry, and these parts can get dangerous. And who knows what else the Dark Irons might have in store for us now that Sean is with them. I'll feel a lot better if you helped me watch over things. Moran can offload the powder kegs at camp while you and I protect the cart. Oh, this is kind of scary. It's like... Expecting waves. Okay. Wave oh, one. Wave one. I'm off. Stay safe. I'll be back as quickly as I am able. I appreciate your help in this. We never would have suspected Sean as a sympathizer. We just weren't prepared for this. Don't worry, I'm here now. Oh, oh red font. We have need of your explosives. I'll take pleasure in killing you for them. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Is there gonna be a second wave? Huldar, what do we do now? Oh, here's another one. Sorry, Huldar, but it seems I've misled you. What? Sean? Good work. I'm glad to see some revenge taken on that traitor. Go ahead and take the path Moran did to the east and let Prospector Iron Band know we're all set. I'm sure he'll have... Oh, he disappeared. Oh, Iron Band's excavation site. Wow. Hmm... What is this place? It is troubling news that you bring. To think that the Dark Irons have sympathizers able to procure this sort of material for their dastardly plans. That's a matter for someone else to consider. Some other time. Thank you for protecting Holdar and the cart. Keep your hands off the goods. We've uncovered some incredible artifacts at this site. It's hard to be convinced that it's all authentic, but there could be some serious historical potential. Unfortunately, when the Trogs overran the site, we lost access to three of our most notable finds to date. I'm concerned that the Trogs might have stolen them, or defiled them in our absence. If you go into the excavation and find the upturned giant, the overdressed woman, and the broken tablet, and make sure they're still intact. Magmar Felhue, Gathering Idols Recently, just before the Trogs surfaced within the site, we had uncovered a large number of strange, carved idols. But we didn't have the chance to study them, for soon after their discovery, the Trogs chased us away from the ruins, and those idols have a strange effect on the Trogs. It makes them go berserk. Bring me eight idols. I want to study them, and I want them out of Trog hands. Oh, what? This rope here makes me think that they dug this whole thing. Like, these pillars were uncovered. Let's get a better view. So these dwarves are excavators and they're uncovering these ruins. Oh my gosh, I wonder what ruins these are. I feel like long-time WoW players would be able to tell me what this is, maybe, I don't know. Ooh, I forgot that at the end of the last episode, I unlocked a new ability. Okay, we have a new ability. It is called Flying Serpent Kick. Soar forward through the air at high speed for two seconds. If used again while active, you will land, dealing 31 damage to all enemies within 8 yards and slowing them by 70% for 4 seconds. Wow. So this is kind of like a charge. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's have this guy be our tester. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness! Oh, I overshot him! Oh, combo breaker, tiger palm. Wow. Loza actually looked like a monk there. I don't think I did damage to him though by 
by doing just that. Um, let's let's try that again. Oh, five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> so I have the charge part down. The soaring forward part. Can I soar upwards? Oh! Mmm, <laughs> didn't really work. <laughs> Surprise! Pretend I soared to you. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it now. I guess that when I land, it just deals damage, and I just didn't realize the first time that I did it that it was doing damage. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I see feet. Ooh. What? 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 Oh, I'm not targeting him. <laughs> okay, there's two of them next to each other. I think this is a good chance to practice that again. Oh my gosh, did you see her face? That was awesome. Help! Oh, I'm almost dead! Help! I have to- oh my gosh, I have to dip. I have to dip! Let's heal ourselves real quick. And let's move this- let's move this. Um, shift. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Shift click and we'll put it to- I guess I'll replace roll because it kind of does the same-ish thing. And we'll put roll to provoke, because I don't really use that anymore. And we'll just put provoke to T. Mm, yeah, that'll be easier on the fingers. Oh yeah, way easier. Um. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to practice that a little bit. <laughs> anyway, look at these feet. Yeah, my combat is starting to get a little sloppy. I need to... I need to tighten that up. Gotta tighten that up. Okay, I don't know if that did anything. Anything special. Ooh, I discovered the artifact of the broken tablet. Oh, okay, so I don't pick up the artifacts. I just inspect them. Now let's look for the overdressed woman. I'm excited to see what she looks like. She looks familiar. Well, it was a sloppy mess, but we did it. Oh, stolen Explorer's Lead document. Oh, yay. I reached level 19. But where is that document? Oh, I found it! Oh my gosh, look how he died. <laughs> Explorer's League document 4 of 6. Where was 3? I can't with this right now. Can't, I can't. You got them! Nicely done, Loza. And you don't look too worse for wear, even with those berserk trogs about. I'm going to keep my eye on you. You show some promise. Woo, I'm relieved. I was worried they'd all be destroyed by now. Thanks for checking up on them. Joining the hunt. Well, you definitely have some fight in you. You know, there are some hunter types at the lodge east of here, up in the hills. They might be right up your alley. Why don't you go pay them a visit and see if they have any work that you might be interested in? Hello up there. Oh my gosh, his name. Bingles Blastenheimer. Bingles, how do you get up there? Oh, wait. No, nope. uh, maybe, no. Okay, here we go. Hmm, there's a lot of people in here. Hello there, lass. These mountaineers sent you over, eh? I do suspect we might have just the sort of work you're looking for. Welcome to the Far Strider Lodge. Hornet hunting. We're always looking for a new game around here. Daryl may like his boars, but the rest of us prefer things more exotic. Now, I'd never say the lock draining was a good thing. But it did have a silver lining. The swampy grounds brought in new prey. Hornets. Giant hornets, mind you. Not many hunters have tussled with massive bugs before. It's rather novel. 
If you'd like to give it a try, I'll wager with you. Bring me back some of those nice glossy wings of theirs, and I'll pay up. Foxtails by the handful. We've seen more foxes in the hills lately. Cunning creatures they are, a good test of a hunter's skills and a fine profit to boot. It's their tails, lass. I'm no goblin. The thrill's in the hunt. But if you bring me back some foxtails, I'll still gladly pay you for them. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of hunting. Safety Warden Pipsy! Oh my goodness, can I be your friend? Thistle while you work. It's stab thistle season! Stab thistle seeds are responsible for up to 89% of seed-related injuries among hunters. You'll find stab thistle seeds mostly in the lower woodland just north of the lodge. They're commonly found at the base of trees and will stab and hurt you. Bring me back stab thistle seeds so we can make sure others don't get hurt. It kind of looks like a gnarly potato. Wow. That is a scary bird. A scary fish. And a scary bear. Rawr. Can I slash fear? Oh my gosh, that's my new favorite picture ever. The joy of boar hunting. Try to contain your excitement, Loza, for you are in the presence of the greatest boar hunter in Azeroth. Oh my gosh, you know who he reminds me of? Is he supposed to be like a Gaston? Their cunning intellect, rapid speed, ferocious strength, and resilient hide. Yes, boars are the quarry of only the most masterful hunters. Amateurs need not apply. Well, it's a good thing I'm not an amateur, Daryl. Why, I bet you've never even hunted such an exotic beast. I'll bet silver any day that you can't match my record of 10 boars killed. Try the ones on the eastern shore of the lock. But don't hurt yourself now, rookie. Oh, it is on, Daryl. See you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah. You will see me later. And guess what? I'm gonna kill 11 boars. Just you wait. Griffin Master, new flight path. Okay, here's Bingles. Bingles, we saw you earlier. He looks like a superhero. Look at his costume. Oh, I like Bingles. Who is this? Wait a second, hold on. Viren Swiftwind. Swift. Taylor Swift. She has blue eyes and she's tall. Guys, this is basically Taylor Swift. Welcome to Far Strider Lodge, Loza. Let's talk to Bingles now. You? Wing nut. <laughs> I'm through with gyrocopters. Sure they work, but when has that ever been good enough for a real gnome? I want real flight with wings. I've been studying birds for years now, trying to unlock the final secret to building a machine that flies just like them. That elegant soaring and swooping, the rush of wind over wings. Ah, you, you can help me. I need the finest flight feathers you can find. The golden eagles circling near the lodge would be a fine choice. So here we get our thistles and our foxtails. Oh, but the foxes are so innocent. They're not aggressive at all. Oh, this is gonna be sad. Oh, I feel so bad for doing this. Ooh, there it is. This is the closest I've ever been to it. Oh, oh, I see something. Oh, it's a document. Explorer's League document, six of six. Yeah, we've got four here and six, so we're missing three and five. Where could three and five have been? And what is this little totem? Okay, I think this is a troll head. And there's a ninja star. So many questions. Gaston was so cocky. We have to kill at least 11 boars. That'll show him. Oh, it's a black sheep. Oh my gosh! What? The sheep died! The boar fell on the sheep and the sheep died. Or maybe I killed it. Maybe my fists were too furious. 
I'm just gonna pretend that the sheep got impaled by the boar's tusk. Yeah. That's what I'll tell myself. Oh, my fist did it again! This time I killed a frog! Poor little guy, he was so innocent. He just wanted to live his little froggy life, but he got in the way of my fists of fury. I need to control myself. Feeling all sorts of bad here. Nyx. Oh, Nyx. That was another rare. I nixed Nyx. Look how big he is. Ooh, 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 I see something. Okay, great. Here is Explorer's League document number five. Now all that's left is to kill two more boars. We only actually have to kill one more boar to complete the quest, but I want to be better. I want to be better than Gaston. All right, Gaston, this one's for you. I'm kind of scared to pick on him with all those stingers around him. But you know what? YOLO. All right, Gaston. I'm officially better than you now. Bingles, bingles, guess what I did? Hi, you're a tall one. Beautiful. You've got an eye for quality. Great minds think alike. It's clear you've got an enthusiasm for flight and fowl. So maybe you can help me further. Ooh, wow, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that. Bird is the word. I've actually nearly perfected my dream machine. The Sky Strider. The world's first flying Meccano Strider. But well, when I was putting the finishing touches on it in my secret cavern lab, my other creations became, er, jealous. Giving mechanical birds a personality to begin with was probably a bad idea, but that's already done. I need the super mechanical robo widget from the original Sky Strider if I want to rebuild it. Please journey into the cave and retrieve it for me. Wow, that seems like asking a lot, Bingles. But, you know, I'll do it for you. I'll do it. Can I help you? Oh my gosh, look, experience. Oh, once I click this, I'm gonna be level 20. I've been informed there's a bear warning active for the woodlands as well. They love those stab thistle seeds. It's a good thing you gathered those so they don't attract more bears. Oh, look at all the things that I get. What? Zen pilgrimage. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Dungeons, mounts, features. I am overwhelmed. I am officially overwhelmed. DEFCON Bobcat. Stop everything. It's come to my attention that there's been Bobcat sightings near the lodge. Bobcats! Now mind you, I've never seen a Bobcat, but they're surely dangerous. They're like mountain lions or something. I don't want anyone leaving until the area is secure. Anyone but you, that is. I'll pay you to help secure the area, Monk, but don't get your face ripped off. I'll surely try not to, Pipsy. You have a great day now. How go those wasps? Lovely specimens you've got here. Here's my wager, lass. What have you got for me? Foxtails by the handful. Ah, you see? Goods of the finest quality. Good work getting these. Oh. Here we go. I'm excited to see what... Daryl has to say, look at him, pacing around, thinking he owns the place just because he killed 10 boars. You've killed 10 already? Ha! While you were out, I've broken my previous record to 10 hundred. Yes, 10 hundred boars. A bet is a bet, I suppose. Here's your consolation prize, Loza. Really? Really? Taylor Swift has a quest for me now. Viren's Revenge. Oh, revenge. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a little paycheck for his boldness. Daryl does have some skill, it pains me to say. A year ago, a large bear had been the target of the Forest Rider Lodge, but none of the hunters had any luck with him. So Daryl thought he'd try his hand against him. All he had to show for his effort was that ugly scar over his eye. Kill bear. Kill bear? <laughs> Kill the bear, and I'm sure even Daryl would be speechless for once. The bear, Old Sooty, can be found around his lair in the cave to the north. Kill Old Sooty and obtain his head. 
Okay, so I'm trying to think. I think it said that I have a new ability and what's new? Zen pilgrimage is definitely new. And was it resuscitate? So we've got resuscitate. Resuscitate returns the spirit to the body, restoring a dead target to life with 35% of maximum health and mana. Cannot be cast when in combat. So if I die, I can resuscitate myself and send pilgrimage. Your spirit travels. What? Your spirit travels to the peak of serenity in Pandaria, leaving your body behind. What? I go to Pandaria? Use Zen Pilgrimage again to return near to where you were. That is very interesting. Oh, oh my gosh, what? Wow, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at Luzza. <gasps> what is happening? What? Where are we, a dojo? Oh my gosh, monks. Monks among me. The peak of serenity. Begin your training. The time has come for you to venture to the peak of serenity to begin training in the ways of the monk. Use Zen pilgrimage to go there and speak with Master Height when you arrive. Oh, learn to ride. It's time for you to learn how to ride. Oh my goodness, one thing at a time. It's time for you to learn how to ride. Seek out Benji Feather Whistle at the Steel Grills Depot in Donmoro. Don't forget to buy your mount while you are there. Oh my goodness. Guys, am I worthy? I'm just a lowly noob. I'm speechless. Gorik, have you ever seen such a place? What's over here? Oh, oh my goodness, don't fall. <laughs> Loza, that was almost so bad. Don't embarrass yourself in front of the other monks. I get to do all this soon, guys. Tell me of your travels. Greetings, Loza. Welcome to the Peak of Serenity. It is here that we monks train and hone our skills in the martial arts. The time has come for you to begin your training. Speak with Master Cheng in the training grounds below us to begin. There is no hurry. There is no hurry. Oh, good. Good to hear that there's no hurry. Oh, follow me. Oh, oh, there is a hurry then. Okay, let's follow him. Don't forget to take it all in while you're here. The peak of serenity has a wonderful view. This is the training ground where you're, where most of your training will take place. Come, I will introduce you to the masters who will be teaching you. This is Master Kiss. Kistani, she's the she is master in art of channeling the mists. Okay, she's a healer. This is Master Wu. She specializes in defense against persistent attacks. Greetings. This is Master Yoon. He is practiced in using powerful focused healing to maintain himself in battle. Master Yoon. This is Master Cheng. She has mastered the art of fighting on the move. I look forward to working with you. This is Master Chang. He is master of meditation and the ability to sense what is happening around him. It's a good skill to have. This is Master Su. He specializes in using all kinds of weaponry and is masterfully proficient with nearly any weapon under the sun. And finally, this is Master Cheng. Master Cheng focuses and I didn't get to read what he said, and with that I must depart. Okay, bye. Welcome, speak with me when you're ready. It's like when I'm here, I feel like the urge to speak slowly because it's so serene and beautiful and, and I just am in awe of all of this right now. Oh my gosh, I have to speak with Master Chang. Okay, how do I go back home? <laughs> I am actually going to end this part right here. Wow, what an exciting episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time on another episode of Loza the Gnome Monk.